Yo guys, welcome to the first ever video for our channel Swish Sticks. The crew and I here are ready to get it rolling. I'm happy you guys are joining us here for the first ever video. And yeah, we're about to start up our channel and just a brief explanation of what you guys can expect from this channel. You can expect some NFL and NBA content. Basically weekly, you guys are going to be seeing prediction videos, analysis videos from us, as well as uh, similar videos to the ones you're going to be seeing today. So for today's video, without further ado, you guys are going to see the top 5 breakout candidates for the NFL this year, at least in our opinion. So the crew and I are ready to welcome you guys in to the Swish Sticks gang, and let's get this started. Number 1, Josh Doxson. A couple years ago, the Redskins were not expecting to see Josh Doxson still on the board when they were on the clock in the 2016 NFL Draft. At the time, the Skins had Pierre Garçon and Deshaun Jackson still on the roster two very capable starting wide receivers, but they were both on expiring contracts. The Skins decided to look ahead and took Josh Jackson just in case Garçon and Jackson decided to leave the next offseason. And what do you know, both of them are now gone. And now the starting role is wide open for Josh Jackson to take. We didn't see much from Jackson last year, in fact he only made two catches all year long. But he was going through injuries last season and only saw limited playing time in the two games that he actually played. However, we know what he's capable of doing from the college tape. In his senior season at TCU, Josh Doxson proved to be a monstrous deep threat. He averaged 17 yards per reception, which is great, and he also had 14 touchdowns, proving that he's a viable red zone threat as well. Doxson does have a limited route tree and has some other issues he needs to clean up to truly break out, but we know that he can do it with his work ethic. He went from a walk-on at TCU to becoming a first-round pick in the NFL. If that's not work ethic, I don't know what is. That kind of work ethic is difficult to find and is a definite framework for success in the NFL. I wouldn't be surprised to see Doxson make over 60 catches this year with nearly 1,000 receiving yards. Number 2, Rashad Perriman. Rashad Perriman has had an extremely frustrating start to his NFL career. On the first day of OTAs in his rookie season, Rashad Perriman injured his PCL. The team doctors told him it would only be a minor injury and he would get back on the field for training camp. But for some reason, Rashad Perriman never made it back to camp or the preseason, or even the entire regular season. After this shocking setback, Brashad put in work to get back from this injury and it looked like he would be healthy for camp, but once again, he was injured and missed his second straight training camp. Perriman made it back in time for the regular season and flashed his potential with speed and great catches, but we knew he had a lot more left in him. This year, Brashad finally got his first full training camp experience, which should pay dividends for him. We know that he's a hard worker, and this could be the year that he puts his inhuman physical tools to use to be an extremely productive wide receiver. Last year, Brashad had 35 catches and nearly 500 yards, and if he's on the right track, expect him to double those numbers for this year. Number 3, Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey was one of the better cornerbacks in the NFL in the second half of his rookie season. Coming into the draft, we all knew that Ramsey had the physical attributes and instincts to be an incredible defensive back in the NFL. He struggled adjusting a bit in the first half of this season, but when he finally figured it out, he looked elite. PFF gave him an 82.3 rating and explained that he was one of the few defensive rookies to make a real impact on their teams. Ramsey helped make the Jaguars a top 10 defensive unit in the NFL last season with his play. With one season under his belt and another offseason to get prepared, expect Ramsey to ascend to the upper echelons of the cornerback rankings. Number 4, Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks just had a pair of back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons, so him being on this list might be a bit surprising to some of you guys. But this offseason, the Patriots decided to trade for Cooks to give Tom Brady another offensive weapon to work with. Brandon is now playing under one of the greatest football minds of all time in Bill Belichick, and one of the greatest QBs of all time in Tom Brady. Belichick will definitely make the most out of Brandon's speed and route running, and Brady will execute almost every single pass to him with perfection. This combination will prove to be extremely successful and NFL teams are going to have to game plan for Brandon Cooks every week, but I'm sure they can't stop him. This may be a bit of a reach, but I think Brandon Cooks can reach 100 catches and 1,500 yards this season, putting him into the conversation with guys like Odell Beckham, DeAndre Hopkins, Antonio Brown, and Julio Jones. Number 5, Coney Ely. Coney Ely is another guy that the Patriots acquired this offseason via trade. A couple years ago, Ely had one of the greatest performances in the Super Bowl we've ever seen by a defensive player. He had three sacks, one interception, and a forced fumble on the biggest stage. If the Panthers hadn't lost, I think he probably would have won MVP. With this showing, experts were expecting Ely to ascend to a dominant pass rusher in 2016 with double-digit sacks, but it didn't happen. 
Ely only had 5 sacks last year, the same amount as he had in 2015, and only 2 more than he had in that entire Super Bowl. After the disappointing season, the Panthers decided it was time to move on. So the Patriots decided to take a shot at him, and it might be exactly what Ely needed to jumpstart his career. Belichick has made a name for himself for finding average or below average players with great talent and turning them into good or great players. We know that Ely has the talent to be great, which was evident in his performance in the Super Bowl, but he needs to become more consistent. Belichick and the Patriots are the perfect organization to put him on the right track, so don't be surprised if you see Coney Ely have double digit sacks this upcoming season. Alright guys, so that's the end of our first video here at Swish Sticks. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see similar content, hit that like button and subscribe. Um, also, if you guys want to see any topics covered or any other different type of videos, go ahead and tell us in the comment section. We're always open to ideas here. So that's it for our first ever video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.